Hi party people, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to yet another Timu haul. This bag is enormous and it's heavy. Looks like this. I don't know how much is in there, but it's a lot, I think. It's very, very, very heavy, I can tell you that. So, we're just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna leave the prices up um, on the screen as I go along. Um, I'll try and link my uh, order below in case there's something in here you maybe want to link to. If by chance it doesn't link because Timu is known for that, just let me know what you want to link for and I'll drop you a link. Um, but I hope you're doing well. It's Friday. Yes, we made it. Another week. Uh, so yeah, I'm happy to be home. I just got home from work, so I thought I'd go ahead and get this out of the way. Uh, kind of show you guys what I got. I have about four more <laughs> big bags to go through. Oh my gosh, it's like such an addiction, right? Okay, so let's just get into it. Oh, by the way, if you don't know what Timu is, it's like an online shopping extravaganza. And they have a bunch of different sellers on there. And I've actually found some items that I got from Amazon before on Timu, but for a much less price. They always have coupons. They always have like games you can play. Oh, speaking of, I'm still I'm still going through my packages because I actually finished uh, Fishland once and um, I don't know where the items are in my bags. Like they sent them to me for free. Like they send you like, I got, I picked like two free items I got, but I haven't gotten them yet in any of the bags. I'm looking at my neighbor's cat. <laughs> my neighbor's cat is like directly across from me in, in the window. It's so freaking cute. I get it, get it. Anyway. All right. So, yeah, let's just go through this real quick. Um, well, hopefully sort of quick. And there's a lot going on in here. But I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you're all doing well. Please say hi in the comments. Tell me what your favorite item is. Let me know what you're doing this weekend. We're getting into October 1st. Is there any, like, Oktoberfest festivals happening around your area i'm in western pennsylvania it's a beautiful day today the leaves are starting to change here uh we're probably going to get our boat off the water this weekend we have a pontoon boat at uh Pimatuming lake if you know where that is in pennsylvania okay anyway let's just get into it i let's see what we got here it, this bag was so heavy I, I swear i almost broke my arm bringing it in here looks like some clothes but let's start out with this because I keep mentioning freshies on my channel and I promise I will make a video the next time I make a freshie but what they are is like car fresheners that you make with aroma beads and scent and so I think I've probably showed this mold before but it's like one of those Christmas tree cake molds it's a silicone mold it's about an inch deep Looks like it's maybe about four inches tall, but you, when you make freshies, you put the aroma beads in here and bake them with the scent, and then you put a little screw in the top, and you can hang it from your rear view mirror in your car, and it keeps your car scented for like a month. So I sell these on my Etsy shop, like the actual freshie, but yeah, so that's a freshie motor. That's what I'm going to be using it for anyway. Okay. Oh, do you know what this is? I saw this, and I had to have it. I had to have this. This is a glue gun holder. So if you're a crafter, like I am, I love to craft. So this is like a glue gun holder. So you sit your glue gun down in here and like the glue will drop down in here. And this is silicone, so it'll like come right out. And then you can, it has like a little, um, what are these called? Suction cups. So it doesn't move. But yeah, you sit your like glue gun down in here in this part and it like the tip sits in here so when the glue like drips out you don't get it stuck to anything i usually like sit mine on like a paper plate or like a wrapper or something but yeah i thought this was really cool like an actual place i'm gonna put my glue gun it's amazing like definitely needed that so yeah that was a good find i'm excited about that okay let's dig in here i thought i feel a box Oh, okay. All right. We got a straight comb. Um, I wanted to try some of their hot tools, like hair tools. So this is a straight comb with temperature control. Um, it looks like this. Um, let's see if there's a... It looks like it comes in different colors if you wanted them. But yeah, the box is a little jacked up. But let's see what it looks like. Oh, I got the teal one, I guess. So, yeah, it's like a teal with gold, and then it's got, like, these temperature controls right here, like the on-off switch and up and down. I don't know what... I'll have to read if there's directions to see, like, how hot this thing actually gets, but, yeah, it's like a comb, and so if you want to straighten your hair, 
you just turn it on and like brush through your hair and it'll straighten it. So yeah, I'll have to try that. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, let me see if there's any, there is a little bit of paperwork in here, but let's see what this says. I just don't know what like the temperature goes up to and I don't want to like ruin a hair straightener. Um, doesn't really say. Just says like the up or down button. Um, it probably does. Oh, oh, there's like a oh, see right here where these holes are. They're actually lights. So if you're on like light number one here at the bottom, it's like 130 degrees, and then you go up to like 160, 145. Um, so like maybe up to 200. But yeah, this will light up. Okay, cool. So at least I know, like, like, if it isn't hot and hot, how hot is it? Like, is it 500 degrees? Like, what? So, yeah, I'll try that out. Maybe I'll do a short or something to kind of follow up on that. But it's, I mean, it's really good quality, you know? So, yeah, I mean, it's like a plastic. It's not metal or anything, but we'll try it. We're going to try it out. Okay, I got another phone case for my phone. I go through phone cases like crazy. I, I feel like, you know how you'll like change purses or you'll change hair colors and change eyeshadows. Like I change phone cases like I change those things. Like I love changing my phone case. So this phone case has like a little, this is like a silicone. Yeah, it's like a silicone strap and then you can tie it onto here somewhere. I don't know where. I guess you probably put it through a hole or something, but yeah, it's like a silicone case. Plus it has this, like, you know, the finger thing on there, <laughs> finger thing, like the holder, which I love these. Usually I buy these like separate. So this one's like built in. So you have to worry about that. And then it's got the little strap too. So pretty cool. Feels really nice. It's like a matte kind of nude color. So yeah, if you if I didn't even know they had phone accessories on there. So if and I have a Samsung Android phone, it's like a Samsung A53 or something like that. I've had it a couple years. I'm not big into like buying new phones and like having the most updated phone. I'm just not. I wish I could find a phone with a good camera. I actually record these on my phone. So I I would like to find one with a better camera that like focuses. So if you guys know of any good phones that like focus when you hold something up because see like my phone doesn't really focus but i would love to have that so yeah so i got a phone cover this looks like oh shoot let me pull this out first oh these are like little towel holders you stick them on your it's a set of three they're silver with like this is like plasticky it's not it's not metal it's all plastic but this is sticky you peel the back off and stick it to the wall but you stick your towel in there and it holds it I don't have like a little towel here to hold. Dang it. But like if like if you stick something in there, oh shoot, it came right out. See? I need to learn how to use this stuff. Does it come off there? So this piece popped off. Don't know if it's supposed to. It clicked back in, but you just like stick a towel, like a hand towel or something in there, like a it's going to have to be a small hand towel unless you loosen these up a little bit. If you stick something thick in there, it's going to bust right out the back like I just did. But like a little hand towel in your bathroom or something, or by your sink that you, like a little dish towel. So that's what those are. And you get three of those. So I thought I'd like put one by my sink in the bathroom and one in the kitchen. Okay, got this set of nails. These look really pretty. I don't know about these, but the other, the other colors look pretty cool. I like Timu's nails. I have several. I really need to start wearing them. <laughs> but yeah, this is what they look like. These have like some type of, let me see with my glasses, my spectacles. They're like silver and gold kind of. Like they have some type of like silver and then there's like gold, I don't know, blocks of some sort. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, they're okay. They always come with these little nail strips which I do not use I usually get glue I will tell you I had nails on in my last video that were Timu nails which I love them but the glue I got from Timu actually absolutely sucks so oh here it is I'll show it to you this is it do not buy this if you want your nails to stay on more than a day I got five in a pack and it, it's horrible I hate it 
So yeah, I got a better glue so I could wear these nails or any nail for that matter. But okay, I don't know what this is. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. Like I don't even know if I can use these or not, but you're gonna die when I tell you what this is. These are card skins. And so you can put these on your bank card, like your bank cards, your credit cards, or any kind of card that you wanna like jazz up. I gotta see how the, I, I'm half scared to use them because I'm afraid that, like, there's like a little spot right here, like you peel this off, and this is where your, like, chip will go. My fear is I put this on and I won't be able to use my card. Like, you peel this off and you just stick it right on your card. Yeah. That's so weird. Like, I just don't know. Like, here's one that's like, you, you're, if your numbers are across the bottom here. I don't know. I'll have to, like, update you guys on these to see if, like, this one's just one big sticker with no peel-offs on it. Like, maybe it's the back of a card. This one has, like, they each have different spots that are cut out. Like, this one has, like, a bunch of spots right here that are cut out, and this one just has this cut out with the, I don't know, they're, like, all different. I guess it depends on what card you want to use them on, but yeah. That's what they're for, is to, like, jazz up your bank card or your credit card. I don't know. Knowing my luck, I'll stick it on and I'd never be able to use it. All right, let's get this out of here. <sighs> Me and my team who clothes, like I have a love-hate relationship with them. Uh, so I got this shirt, which is probably going to be extremely huge. Maybe, I think I sized up, which is, I don't know why I do that. But I do it. I do it every dang time. Um, I have really bad luck with their clothes, so... I thought this looked kind of cool on the lady. I'll maybe put a picture up here so you can see the price and what it's supposed to look like. So it's like a long sleeved black shirt. No, wait, how's this work? It's long sleeved and then there's like black sleeves underneath this and like the top is like, it. it's like a, um, you know, it's like two layers kind of per se. Like it's got this underneath and then it has like a, almost like a cardigan type of thing. I don't know. Very hard to, to get the gist, but I'll try and put a picture up so you can see like what it looks like on the model. I'll try it on. I mean, if it looks decent, because I like to wear, if you like to wear like, um, ponchos it looks like a black top it looks like you have a long sleeve black just top on like long sleeve black top and then like this red and gray print is like the poncho but it's like all one piece so we'll see we'll see how that goes we'll see how it goes this must be another i got some couple clothing items in here i don't know why i do this to myself but i placed all these orders and then i'm like I don't know about the clothes. I just don't know. This doesn't this doesn't feel too bad. That did, that shirt didn't feel too bad. And this one doesn't either. I mean, it's just, let's see. It's just oh, it's a cardigan. So it's just like a big cardigan with like big flowy arms in like a nude color. See, I wouldn't think I would wear that. It's kind of cute. So, you know, it's just like a big flowy cardigan and like a nude print or like a I guess that's a nude. Would you call that nude or like cream color? I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay. I'll try and put a picture up of that too if I can. Um, it doesn't feel too bad though, which is always the, that's the main thing is if it doesn't feel too disgusting, then we're halfway there. <laughs> so here's another top. Um, it's obviously a leopard print, but I, is it a cardigan? See, this one feels like a rubber suit. I'm not going to like this. I already know because I can just tell by the feeling. <sighs> I hate when they put those things in there. It feels like rubbery. And I know you guys are like, read the, read the details, but everything on there says polyester. And sometimes you'll get something like this that doesn't feel like this and you'll get, or you'll get this that feels like polyester. I mean, it's not horrible. It's like a long cardigan with long sleeves. I will try it on, and if it doesn't look too bad, then I'll keep it. But it just has that feeling like that, like a bathing suit feeling. Like I, that's the best way to describe it as a bathing suit feeling. That's neither one of these shirts before this. 
had that feeling. So I don't know. It's just so hard to tell, you know, what, what's going to feel like crap and what isn't. Like, they all say polyester, so I don't know. Okay, I think I got two of these. I saw these, and I've been wanting these so bad. I think I saw one. I think I saw someone get these from Amazon, but I got them from Timu. So they go in your drawer, like your um, utensil drawer. And so I doubled up on them, but they must go this way. I think it goes this way. So you'll see here it says spoons, forks, knives, and then I, I don't know what you want to put there. But they slide up under so that just like the tip of the, like, you know, the spoon part you eat off of goes underneath here. So then you only see the ends. And it looks like you can put a whole bunch in there. So, yeah, I'm going to try those. I'm going to try those out. I thought they were pretty cool. Looks like, you know, make your drawer look a little bit neater or nicer, I guess. So, so I got two. We'll see what they look like. Maybe I'll post a picture up on on uh, Instagram. Or not Instagram. YouTube. So here's more of those card skins. This one is glitter. <laughs> We're trying to be bougie over here. So yeah, it looks like black glittery. But you're supposed to be able to put these on your like credit cards and your debit cards. And it's just like a skin for them. It just covers the whole thing. But they friggin' stink. Ugh. They smell horrible, and it feels like sandpaper, so I don't really know if I'd want that in my wallet, to be quite honest with you. Unless, yeah, I wouldn't want that in my wallet. It's just really, 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 really scratchy. I mean, if you have a good wallet, you're probably not going to want to put that in it, so I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll think about that one. Okay, next up, I got another phone cord. I am like a phone cord addict on Timu. I love their phone cords. They're so good. They are so good. Like, the ends are always really nice. And, yeah, they're just really great. Highly recommend their cords or their phone accessories. They're real, really great. I mean, literally, this would probably be like 10 bucks on Amazon. So, yeah. Oh, here's another phone case exactly like the pink one that I just showed you a little while ago. But it's like a turquoise muted... What color would you call that? Green turquoise mint i guess it's more like a mint green or like a robin's egg blue type of green i don't know anyway same exact case only different color and i love i love that it has this thing on it like i live to hold my phone like that i don't know why it's like a it's like a thing <laughs> i live for it let me tell you i love it I don't, I don't know why it's like a comfort thing i think all right, here's another freshie mold, but this one is for Halloween. I thought it was so cute. It says Mumster. It's got like, like it looks like Frankenstein. See like the Frankenstein thing, and it, but it says Mumster. Isn't that f so cute? So stinking cute. Yeah, I thought that would be really cute uh, for moms. I'm going to make a couple of my mom friends a couple of these. I thought, they, I thought that was adorable. Mumster. Okay, next up. I got these, um, oh, these are like stickers for your, your box, your electric box downstairs, your, uh, you know, I, heart, words are hard today, your electric box, but you can like, la so you can label it, so you've got the like main floor, den, range, all kinds of numbers, um, you know, hallway, porch, study, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so that's why I bought those. I thought, I'm going to go label my breaker. Breaker box. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. The breaker box. A label for the breaker box. Yeah. thought that was kind of interesting. Wasn't probably too expensive, but yeah. It's like all kind of bathroom, kitchen, living room, you know. Thought that would be, thought that was kind of cool. Okay, another top, probably, which I'm going to hate. I need to quit buying clothes, but see. Now, see, this one does not feel bad. Doesn't feel bad, but it's, oh, it's short-sleeved, and it says Wallen, Morgan Wallen. That's my main squeeze. I'm keeping this whether I like it or not. It's a good t-shirt. I like it. I like the v-neck on it. Um, the Wallen could be higher, though, because it seems like it's going to be in, like, the middle of my guts. <laughs> I don't know. I might even cut the sleeves off of that thing. It's like a, 
turquoise and like cow print and like leopard all together in one kind of thing. Pretty cool. Like it. I dig it. But that feels that feels nice. If it says it was all polyester online, it doesn't feel too bad to be quite honest with you. It could feel much, much, much worse. Could feel like a scuba suit, but it doesn't. So, okay, another another tidbit of clothing. Oh my goodness, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? Oh, I bought this dress. It's like a black velvet dress and. Okay, I need your I need your input. Can you wear black to a semi-formal October wedding? Yes or no? Because I was going to maybe wear this dress, but now that I'm looking at it, I just don't know. It is uh it's a black like velvet dress and it's got long sleeves and I don't know, it's just like a black long dress. I don't know. I don't know, guys. It's very stretchy, but it feel I don't know. I feel like is it gonna be too much? Is it gonna be too much for a wedding? You know what I mean? I don't know. It's like kind of like a baby doll type of situation, like right here. I don't know. I'm afraid black velvet is not gonna be the way to go. Black velvet and that little boy smile. Black velvet. Yeah, I can't sing, I know. My boyfriend hates when I sing. But yeah, so I don't know. Leave me, what, what do you guys think? Can you wear black to an October wedding? <sighs> I think you can. Like, I asked my one friend and she's like, absolutely, you can wear black to any wedding whenever you want. But can you? Like, is black velvet too much? It's semi-formal, so I was going to wear, like, you know, boots or whatever, but I just don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. Let's go on. Oh, have you ever seen these before? It's like an epilator. You're supposed to be able to take your hair off with this. We're going to try it on my arm. I don't have much hair on my arms. But anyways, you're supposed to just be able to... I don't know if this is supposed to be wet or not, but this is what it looks like. Ooh, look at that fancy packaging. Painless hair removal exfoliation. Make it easy for you to be smooth. These packages kill me. Listen to this, listen to this, uh, listen to what this says. Make it easy for you to be a smooth daughter. What? What do you mean a smooth daughter? That is the weirdest thing. Apply body lotion after use. Make the skin more transparent and silky. Easy to clean. Um, so I don't know if you have to like... hair coming off. You know what? It looks like my skin's coming off, but I don't know if my hair's coming off. I don't think my hair's coming off, guys. Do you need to use water with this thing? Look how white it made my arm. Did it I don't see no hair. It's It feels soft. Did the hair come off? Or it smells funky. It smells like a pumice stone. Like, am I taking my skin off? I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know about that, y'all. Maybe, I don't know. You're supposed to wet this thing? I don't know. To me, it's just like a pumice stone that's taking everything off, including my skin. Because look, my skin got like, it feels really smooth, but there's still hair on there. I think, I, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I think that that's a little crock of poo there. A uh, little white box. What could be in here? Who knows? Uh, oh, this is, um, so I got this for work. It's a st stapler that you don't use staples with. It's a stapleless stapler. A stapleless stapler. So you put your papers in it and you go like that and it like puts them all together with like a little thing. You know what I mean? Like it clasps them together, but with its own paper. I don't know. <laughs> it's a stapleless stapler. I'm trying to save the environment one staple at a time, okay? That's what I'm trying to do with my life. So, thought that was kind of neat. Pick that up. Okay, have you have you bought these from Timu yet? Yes or no? If you haven't, I highly recommend these, like, cloths. Um, they come in, like, a 10-pack, I think. Yeah. 10 pieces and they're tiny. They're not very big. They look, they're about this big, but these things are amazing. Like they will take fingerprints off of everything. They will take, 
You can clean your glasses with them. Mirrors, especially mirrors. I use these in my bathroom on the mirror windows. And I'm not going to lie. It gets off every little freaking spot of everything. They're amazing. Amazing. Love them. I don't know what... I think... Are they made of microfiber? I don't know. But they are amazing. Highly, highly recommend. This is my second pack of these. Um, absolutely love those. Oh, this is a little toy for my little cat. Her name is Delilah. And I thought it was a cute little Halloween toy for her. It looks like a little... Oh, oh, okay, let's... Maybe it's just me. Is it just me that this looks... Okay. It's a skeleton. It is a skeleton, but... <sighs> okay, it's a skeleton. Does it look like it, it looks kind of... It looks... It... it uh... It's a cat toy. I'm going to give it to her when I, when I'm done. It's a cat toy. Okay. This is another cat toy. We love the cats around here, folks. Oh, what is that? I have no idea what just fell out of there. I hope it wasn't like a freaking bug or something. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. I'm scared to give my cat stuff with this, with this kind of material on it. Do you see this? <sighs> I'm scared because it look, she has the sharpest claws and she will literally tear the heck out of this and probably choke on that. I don't know. This could be a choking hazard, so. Okay, so here's the funny thing, right? Do you see what this says right here on this package? This little label right here? It says, warning, choking. Actually, they can't even spell choking. It says chalking. Choking or intestinal obstruction hazard. Supervise your, vet when, supervise your pet when using. Why, why would I, I shouldn't, you shouldn't make a cat toy that you need to supervise your cat in case they choke on it, okay? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, I'm not giving this to her, don't worry. No, not gonna happen, I, no, 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 no. Choking hazard, watch your pet when they're playing, well, gee, why do I gotta watch, just make toys the cats aren't gonna choke on, how about that? Do that. Okay. This is, I think I saw Twisted Gypsy get one of these. I'm going to put this in my Jeep um, to maybe do some vlogs. But it, it it is a phone holder. Oh, I just dropped a piece. Just dropped a piece of it. But you put it like over your, um, you put it over your rear view mirror. I don't know what I dropped. I'll get that later. But So it looks like this and you can like. Put it any way you want, but this is how it kind of goes. But it just like, it just like slips on the back. So you can like take it off or put it on or whatever. But yeah, I, I guess I probably have to put it together. So this is the part that like goes over the back of your rear view mirror. And then uh, this hooks into this somehow. <laughs> I don't know how. I'll have to figure that out. I feel like I, oh wait, here, this thing. This thing connects onto here somehow. I probably dropped the piece I need to connect, but it goes like this. And then this part holds this so, so your camera goes here. So that's how that works. Uh, their, their cell phone accessories are really great. You guys need to check out their cell phone accessories. Yet another piece of clothing. I haven't learned my lesson yet. Just says black. <laughs> Doesn't say what it is, just says it's black. Black is one of my favorite colors. All right, let's see what this is. I have no, it feels very, it looks like a blazer. Yeah, it is, it's a blazer, but it's like kind of short sleeved. Like was I planning on going to like a lot of funerals or something? Like why did I buy all this black? I don't know, I don't know. Looks like that. Very polyester-y. I just feel like, not maybe I'll donate it because I hate returning stuff. Maybe I'll just donate it. I don't I feel like that's not my jam. All right. Let's dig deeper. Okay, another cat toy. Actually, I already bought one of these for my cat and she loves it. And she hasn't ripped it to shreds, but this thing like just kind of weeble wobbles. So yeah, she loves that. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like. It's like a mouse with some feathers. But it just weeble wobbles. Yeah, she loves it. All right, 
Okay, what else do we got in here? Oh my gosh, did I buy another? What is this? Rear view mirror backseat video stand. So apparently I bought two of these to see which one I would like better. It's exactly the same type of thing as that, I think. I mean, just a different, this is what it looks like. You put your phone in here. I love how boxes get so jacked up. It's like, it says universal clip something something. This one looks like it has less pieces, but I don't know. I don't know how to use this. This must clamp onto something, right? Press this silver button before you, oh, you press the silver buttons and it kind of moves around, I guess. And then this goes down here, which holds your, holds your camera, but where does this clip onto? Where does this clip onto? I don't know. I'm not sure. Does it go? I don't know, guys. I'll have to figure it out. I'll have to let you know about that. I'm trying to figure out how it... Oh, it must clamp onto your... I have no idea. See this picture right here in the car? They have it, like, clamped behind the rearview mirror somewhere. I don't know. But you can, like, clamp it on a table or whatever. I don't know. I don't know if that one's even going to work for me. I don't know. The other one looks like it's better quality or more, you know, something a little bit better. All right. Oh, I got more of these. I, ha I got two packs of these. I showed them, showed them in my last haul. They're like reusable Ziploc bags with handles and um, you get a pack of Sorry guys. Anyways, so I got these in my last haul too, and there is, they are an extra large 11, or they're almost 12 inches by 9 inches. It's like a Ziploc bag that you can hold stuff in, and they're reusable. Um, so yeah, you could like put, you could even put your like daily lunch in here, but we're going to use them too. Well, I don't know what I'm going to use them for, because now I have like four sets of them, but I'll figure out something for them. I was going to put my every plate meals in them, like break them up into these bags. And then just store them in the fridge like that so they're ready to go. So yeah, I got two packs of those. So there's five in a five in a bag. Or five in, you know, set of five. Um, let's see, what is this? Oh, this is a little silk hair bonnet. I'm gonna try and wear bonnets at night because my hair is so thin and it feels very silky, but it just looks like a little hair bonnet with like a you know, this is like a headband type of thing, so. Yeah, it's just a little pink hair bonnet. I'm going to try and put that on my hair because it just gets so gross at night or my head gets cold or whatever. So I just thought I'd get one of those. And is this the last thing in here? No. Let me get that out. I feel like I dropped something. Hold, please. Three more items, guys, and then we're done. Okay, here is a rose gold ring set. I love Timu's jewelry. Um, one thing you will want to do with Timu jewelry is do not get it wet. It will make your finger green. Normally it does not make my finger green, but, um, this is like a engagement type set thing. But it's really pretty. It's in rose gold, which I like, but that's what it looks like on. It's really sparkly. Very pretty. Love it. Love it. Okay. Two more items. I have no idea what this is. Uh, another thing that just says black on it. No idea. Let's see. It's like a, looks like a, oh, maybe it's another bonnet. Maybe I got two bonnets. I think I did. Yeah, I bought a black one too. So it's like the stretchy part goes over your head and then your hair goes in here. So, or if you sleep with like a wig on, a human hair wig, you could always put these over your head so you don't lose... So, you know, you don't lose your style or anything. I don't know how I'm going to fit that back in that package. Forget that. Put it in here. All right. Last but not least is shapewear. I got some shapewear to try. Um, not sure how it's going to go, but we're going to try. Uh, let me turn you a little bit this way. Okay. We're going to try this out. It, is it a full body type of situation? Yeah, it is, I think. So, it looks like this. It's like a whole body suit. 
thing. I mean, I think it goes this way. No, no, I think it does go this way. I think it leaves your bra out. You know what I mean? So, but it holds your body and it goes all the way down. I will let you guys know how this works out. But yeah, you're, you're, it like you're, you wear a bra with this, I think. Your bra like sits on top of this. Hmm. So we'll see how this works. It's got a lot of banding in it and there's these corsety type things in the front right here. I mean, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. And then, uh, yeah, so the legs are split so you don't have to take the whole thing off to go to the bathroom. All right, so we'll see how that goes. All right, everyone, that was my haul for today. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you for being a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, please consider liking and subscribing, and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.